there. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dimitri here from Heli Direct, and we at Heli Direct are super, super, super excited to do an official video reveal for the first time online ever uh, of the new Spirit Wave radio. Now I have two fantastic examples in front of me. One is the standard version, the other one is the aluminum pro version. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit later as to what the differences are, but um, for those of you watching that have no idea what Spirit is, I totally understand. Uh, Spirit has not made a big presence in the North American market. They're actually quite popular out in Europe. Uh, Spirit itself is a company out of Czech Republic. All its equipment is made and assembled in Czech Republic. Really high quality stuff. And uh, I just wanted to sort of do a bit of a pre-release introduction as to what the radio is, what the ecosystem is all about, and how it's different. And when you guys are shopping for your next radio, you'll know if, if this radio is for you. So a little bit about the Spirit Radio. So the Spirit Radio is a fully integrated system with a Spirit fly barless unit. The unit has an integrated receiver built into it, which means the unit's got wires coming out of it, the antennas. Um, the whole system is fully integrated from the ESC to the fly barless. It's going to have a cloud. It's going to have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it'll have a web browser, and it'll even have a built-in simulator. So when you're at the field and you're trying out a new maneuver and you're between packs, you can go back to your table, look down at your transmitter, and you can practice that maneuver. Next pack gets charged, you put that pack into your heli, and you go try it again. If you're new, if you're learning, this fly barless has advanced rescue features, which also includes automatic rescue, which is like a hard deck. The unit itself has a built-in air pressure sensor and it knows how high the helicopter is. So, so for example, you're taking off, you're 30 feet in the air, you flip a switch and the helicopter will now, or the unit rather, will not allow the helicopter to go below the 30 foot mark as long as that switch is activated. All the updating is going to be wireless from the radio. As long as it has a connection to Wi-Fi, it's able to update itself from the Spirit servers. The radio can update the fly barless unit from the Spirit radio. No dongles, no laptops, nothing is needed. So from a technical point of view, this radio runs on a 64-bit quad-core processor. It has a 6900 milliamp battery inside of it. Really, really good battery life. I was just at the field the other day. Um, I was at 100% charge. I purposely did not turn the radio off from about nine till three, so about six hours. I flew a bunch and I was playing with the radio a bunch and I was still over the 60% mark without even turning off the radio for, for over six hours. Um, in my opinion, that's, that's really, really, really good battery life considering it does have a touch screen. Um, the Spirit RF modules are running at three millisecond latency. Uh, which is approximately a 300 hertz refresh rate between your gimbal sticks and what the radio receives. So for the first time ever, the radio transmission signal actually matches the speed of the servos, right, if they're running at 333. And I've noticed when I was flying it, things are just a lot faster and a lot crisper. All the Spirit radios will come with built-in accelerometers, uh, the vibration support, they will both have USB-C charge ports, uh, the gimbals are going to be identical between the standard and the pro which, which are full metal ball bearing hall sensor gimbals So the very cool thing about this radio is that the operating system is a proprietary operating system This is not based on Windows. This is not based on OpenTX. This is not based on Android or any existing platform This was completely coded by spirit system and the big idea behind that is is so there's maximum flexibility with adding features in the future and anything that could possibly come up in the future the Spirit will be able to code it in without any issues at all. So without further ado, I'm going to connect my little helper here, my Spectre V2. I'm going to connect the system, I'm going to open up the radio, and I'm going to show you guys what it is all about. Alright guys, so we have both versions of the radio here. On the left here is the Pro, on the right here is the Standard, uh, and the main difference between those two is the aluminum case versus the plastic case. Now, it doesn't mean that one is any worse than the other. It's more of a personal preference thing. I prefer a bit of a heavier radio, so I prefer the aluminum case. A lot of people like a lighter radio, so they'll prefer the plastic case. Um, I believe there's about a 200 gram difference between the two radios. So holding the radio, I mean, it's, 
it's really like it feels like it was made for my hands personally um, it, it feels really nice the sticks are the perfect distance away from the edge the gimbals themselves feel fantastic the switches feel very high quality the um, you have two pots up here um, now the plastic radio the finish on the plastic radio it's not your standard plasticky feel like it it feels like it's ultra smooth and it's almost got like a, a texture to it if you will that's uh, that sort of non-slip it feels really nice and the overall design of the radio is quite modern it doesn't have any trim switches on the bottom or on the sides uh, there's no buttons on the radio whatsoever it's got a couple sliders in the back it's got your momentary switch it's got your two position switch and the rest of these switches they're all three position switches with two pots in the front um, now this is a 30 plus channel radio and so you should have plenty of channels uh, now I do have my heli connected um, I want to open up actually just before we get to that I wanted to show you guys the aluminum cased radio which is the pro um, again exact same radio 200 grams heavier in my opinion it feels a little bit nicer uh, it's 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 a little bit heavier I'm used to flying aluminum case radios, so so this is more up my alley the radios are otherwise identical with the exception of the case I want to show you guys the interface a little bit and uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in here on the radio hopefully we're not gonna go out of focus yep okay so we have the interface here um, this is the main screen so I'm gonna turn off the radio and I'm gonna turn it on for you guys just so you can see how it all how it all happens so the radio is off now to turn it back on I have to hold the button for for about three seconds one two three I feel the radio vibrating a little bit and then it starts to initialize okay boom so we're we're inside the radio so on the left side of the radio we have a big button here that's going to be your model list um, now this radio will automatically connect to the spirit unit that it sees on so on the right hand side you have these boxes where you can display any sort of telemetry you have several pages of it and just to add on that there there will be full telemetry for most of the speed controllers on the market and for some of the bigger brands there will also be integration so you'll be able to actually go in and you'll be able to change settings for YGE for Scorpion etc okay so so once we go into the applications menu this is where you'll be able to access your media player you'll be able to access your web browser you'll be able to access your simulator uh, your files so you can upload a bunch of um, flight videos if you'd like and you can watch them on your radio uh, you can even upload a movie if you'd like uh, you'll have the updater here which will give you options to update to the latest firmware so if we hit the back button and we go into the next menu you'll get your flight controller setup and settings so if we go into the base menu you will have all the base settings that uh, you can adjust and set up which is um, at which frequency your ESC or your throttle servo is going to be working at your throttle endpoints you'll be able to adjust your mounting position you'll be able to adjust the orientation of your swash plate you'll be able to adjust your the center pulse of your servos the herdage and your servo reversing um, in the limits menu it will allow you to adjust your cyclic ring and your collective range as well as your rudder limits and for those setting up the unit for the first time there is also a setup wizard that uh, you can configure through the fly barless so if we go into the next parameter here you can adjust your flight style this is where you're gonna spend most of your time here you can adjust your cyclic rates your flight styles your feed forwards your rudder rates and your rudder dynamic which is stop gains and uh, if we click the next parameter we have all your gains your cyclic gains your rudder gains which I currently have set up on a pot that's why you don't see a value here and then there's a gain multiplier which I will get into in a different video when I release a setup video so in the advanced menu you're able 
to set your, your six degree parameter, which I believe in an icon is 10 and in a viewbar is eight. You have a bunch more parameters here that I will get into a little bit more in a setup video in the future. Um, if we get into the governor tab, you have your regular governor settings. Your stabilization tab, it will allow you to add a rescue mode. So if we click add mode here, it'll, it'll give you options. Uh, rescue normal, rescue acro, which will bring you up inverted, rescue automatic, and then there's a stabilization mode. So if we click, for example, rescue automatic, we can configure it, we can set up a switch, um, and we can set up all the values that it needs to work correctly. I will get more into this with a setup video in the future. And then we also have Geolink here which is a separate module that can really help if you're, you would benefit from geofencing and return to home and all that fancy stuff that GPS can offer to the hobby. If we go into the next menu, we have your, you'll see your receiver status. So here you have your flight modes. If you wanted to add a flight mode, you click add. You can set up a name. You can set up a switch. You can set up which active position on the switch it will engage. And uh, it works on a priority uh, system, I believe, similar to Jetty and to Futaba. Okay, here, here you have your ESC setup. On this firmware, right now, I don't have access to mode, motor, and tuning. When the integration will be finished, you will have access to these parameters as well, which will allow you to change parameters inside the ESC. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So in future videos, I will show other features as they come along. Uh, I will be showing off the flight simulator, I'll be showing off the web browser, I'll be showing off all the integration that will happen with the ESCs. Now keep in mind guys, this will evolve a lot over time. Uh, this is a pre-release video. Oh, it's telling me my battery's low. So, this is a pre-release video. This will evolve a lot. Um, it works the way that it is perfectly. I have probably had 50 or 100 flights with it by now. Um, at least 50 for sure. And I haven't even had a, a blip or a glitch or anything of that sort. It's, uh, it's a really great system and Thomas did a fantastic job with it. It feels great in the hands. Um, I, I do like the interface a whole lot. Um, it's, it's very simple, I mean, I don't have to scroll through a lot of menus, I mean, from, from the home menu, if I, if I want to make a change, I go into the setup menu, I go into style, and this is where I spend most of my time. Um, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, I'm going to put this radio away, and uh, we're going to conclude this video. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping that this radio is going to be out in about three to four months. Um, the exact launch date is still up in the air, uh, but it should be around that time frame. Um, this will be sold at Heli Direct. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, I will be monitoring the comment section of this video and I will be answering each and every one. So um, I really hope to hear from you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Cheers.